Marion Ross was known to millions of people as Mrs. C. Now she's sharing her stories from the small screen in her new book, My Days, Happy and Otherwise. Today, Marion is in the Bay Area to discuss her part also in a series of short documentaries called The Last Act. And this morning, we are honored and privileged to have Marion join us live here in studio. Good morning, Mom. Oh, I feel like uh, you, you raised, raised me. Us, right. I remember in the late 70s, uh, my parents dressed me up as fawn, so I grew up watching, so it's a pleasure to have you here. I was always curious, but before Happy Days, what were you doing? Oh, oh I'm, I'm a serious young actress. Mm -hmm. I was under contract to Paramount by the time I was 22 years old. Wow. But I grew up in Minnesota. Right. Mm -hmm. Lost the accent. And, and then I had a real nice uh, Minnesota accent, real hard R, you know, it was real nice. So I had to train that out of me. But uh, it's all in my book. It's all in my book. And you actually changed the spelling of your name because you had a showbiz mentality at a very young age. Talk to me. It sounds like you knew you were going to be a star. Yes. When I was confirmed, I got a little prayer book, and my name is printed in gold on there, uh, M-A-R-I-A-N with R-O-S-S. -S. I said, that's not going to look good on a marquee. You know, that's not going to look good. Oh. So we're going to change that. I like yeah. that. Did you have any idea when you uh, auditioned for the role, when you got the role, that Happy Days was going to be such a big hit? Because at the end of the first season, they were thinking of canceling it uh, because it didn't have good ratings, but then it took off. Did you know any of this before going in? No, we had no, uh, any show. You have no idea of any show. So it was a wonderful miracle. And when they got the Fonz, you know, all of a sudden, he didn't have any lines, you know. He'd just look at himself in the mirror, see that he was perfect, and then, you know. And then Ron Howard was able to you know, take the fact that Henry had walked off with that show. So everything that Henry got, Ron got. So the two of them. I know Ron's got a big movie coming out pretty soon. He does. Uh, here, yeah. So he, he writes the foreword in the book. Um, you guys were a close-knit family. We were, and we still are, and, and you we still, still are, today, are, which right? is extraordinary. And we see this because in the book? it's how many thirty-five something plus plus years ago, right. you know. Mm -hmm. And the only one we've lost was our Aaron, our dear Aaron, and that was very tragic. And I had a party at my house just for us, and my son Jim Meskimen wanted to come. I said, "No, Jim, you can't come, because it's just for." This family, you know, Not I wasn't worried about his feelings at the, all. Uh, what's you the know? secret to life? I mean, you look phenomenal. You're fabulous. Um, what what tip would you give to everyone out there about living life to its fullest uh, and as long as you can? I I should say follow your dreams, but I am I am healthy, you know, because I'm 89. So if um, I, I've taken care of myself, but I was born healthy because my brother was a crippled boy. So, uh, and being a middle child, I think it's wonderful when you, when you have to achieve something, you know, when you have big dreams. So uh, don't hang on to those dreams, I would say. You almost had to do something to get noticed, right? Those middle children oh, absolutely. can get lost. Yes. Uh, yes. Does it stun you? you no, know, I, I think about you and your show every time I say to my husband, I'm s s s s I'm s s s s I can't say I'm sorry. Does it stun you how much of the American experience Happy Days has informed and carried over? Uh, I think so, and I would attribute that to Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall, I don't know if you ever Brilliant. met him. No, I never had a chance. Wonderful, wonderful man. So he is what he put all of us together. And you know, he put us on a softball team, right. which was a way of keeping us not separate. We had to be together. We traveled to all, we here went to Candlestick Park here, mm -hmm. played before big league games and wow. they trained New York Fonzie uh, Henry Winkler was from New York City Ron Howard took him out trained him to be a pitcher he didn't never play ball before mm. so that ball team, that team was very feeling. important to you believe they I, tore I wanted up. to ask you uh, because we did a uh, little trivia that we put on our Instagram site yes. before the show yes. uh, how many people come up to you and, and ask you questions like we were asking you earlier you know, what was uh, the Mr. C's business? I mean, do people still want to talk about the nitty-gritty of the show? Well, at least they come up and call me Mrs. C, you know. Right. They'll say, you look really good, Mom. You look, you know, and they'll check me out like they own me. You do look really good. Yeah, yeah, so that I think, thank you, thank you. you do know? you believe they tore Candlestick Park down? They well, tore it down. Oh, I guess it's someplace else now. Yeah, it's down in Santa Clara. Um, the last act. What would you say, The Last Act? Tell our viewers a little bit about the series, The Last Act. 
And I see the last act doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah. What is, what is that? Well, if you had one last act in life oh. when you're living through oh. life here. And oh, because I've had you, so much. Because you've retired acting. And I'm very right? and I'm very happy to be retired. Because one of the last shows I did, I would say to them, what is that line? What is that? What is that? They said, well, it's very simple. I said, I, I know, but I forgot it. What was that? <laughs> Give it to me again. And I thought, you know, children, I think let's quit while we're ahead of the game. Right. They're still handing you scripts, I bet. People still <laughs> well, want you to come but out. I, but I, I don't care. Isn't yeah. that nice? What a good because I cared be. so nice bad. Right. I cared so much yeah. for so long. We're so honored to have you. I, we, we were all a buzz, you know, for I, days yeah. when we I'm learned you were coming to be in. Here. Oh, thank you. Well, you can check out the Last Act documentary series featuring Marion Ross by going to kgv.com. Look for it in the web links.